Alright, so in this video we're going to be having a look at some questions that are more to do with restorative dentistry. Um, so let's jump in and have a look at our first question. Which one of the following are you not looking for when you are exploring the apical third of a canal? Is it hypercementosis, branches, lateral canals, internal root resorption or obstruction? So it definitely would be looking for branches, canals, lateral canals, you'll find internal root resorption. Um, obstruction definitely that's something you want to know there hypercementosis here is the is the odd one out because hypercementosis uh, happens on the root surface so we're not looking for hypercementosis whenever we're exploring the apical third of a canal question two what technique is usually used for the production of an apical flare with hand files is it crown down step down tug back step back or step up now i think most of these if not all of these are associated with endo in some way crown down is generally used for uh rotary instruments step down i'm i don't know i don't know if that's actually an endo term tug back is more for gp step back i think that's the answer that we're looking for and step up again i don't know if that's actually an endo term uh but step back obviously using a sequence of gradually larger files to create that apical flare that we want. So the answer here is going to be D, step back. Uh, looking at question three, which one of the following is not an advantage of having an overdenture versus a complete denture? Uh, better aesthetics, preservation of the alveolar bone, better sensory feedback, increased biting forces, or a more re reproducible retruded draw jaw relations. That's difficult to say. Uh, which one of the following is not an advantage of having an overdenture versus a complete denture? Um, well, with having an overdenture, you will have more alveolar bone, sensory feedback, increased biting forces, and more reducible, more reproducible jaw relations. So I would have to say the answer here for this one is probably a better aesthetics. I'd imagine they're both dentures. Either way, the aesthetics of those are going to be similar. A denture has a bilateral free end, partially edentulous saddle is classified as Canada class 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Okay, this is a question that comes up every time, especially in the MFDS part 1 uh, or the primary uh, care diploma. Um, this is this is easy points and you should definitely know these uh, like the back of your hand. A bilateral free end saddle um, is going to be a Canada class 1. Canada class 2 is a unilateral free end saddle, class 3 bounded saddle, 4 anterior saddle, 5 and 6 um, are less shown. I'm actually put up a picture here of them so you can see what they what they look like. And these are easy points and these are questions that you should 100% be getting right every time. So our final question for this video, what is the name of the probe shown in the image? Is it A, a Briolds probe? B, BPE probe, C, a Who probe, D, a Williams probe, or E, the Florida probe? Um, this is a very easy, straightforward question. Um, the BPE and the Who probe are very similar. Uh, the Florida probe, if, if you ever get to use one, it's really interesting to use. Uh, but this, uh, with these demarcations on it, is a Williams probe. I'm actually not too sure what a Briolds probe is, but this is definitely a Williams probe.